local athlete has made it to the U.S. national judo team. Is going to be competing at the World Championships next month. Julio Ortiz live in Rockland introducing us to the superstar. Are you going to take a couple hits for him? Absolutely not. Did you see what they were doing before yeah. the commercial? You know, normally I like to get involved, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to let you all handle this right now. <laughs> but I am going to introduce you because this is pretty exciting for this studio here. We're at Rockland Judo, and here he is, 17-year-old Elias Sabin. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And we've got Dad there, Coach Manuel, and, of course, we've got Sensei Shane as well. How excited are you, Elias, about this opportunity to represent the U.S. of A.? I'm very excited. Yeah. It's a big deal to me, and it's yeah. a big deal to everyone in this club. I think it's very c cool that I get to do it, you know? Yeah. There's been a lot of build up to it for me personally, a mm -hmm. lot of tournaments, a lot of hard work put into it. Yeah. So I'm very excited. Yeah. You know, and I mentioned he's 17 years old, but he's actually in the class above. You're you're play, you're going against guys who are older and and, and even heavier. Yeah, uh, I've always been kind of a heavier kid, so fighting up in age has mm -hmm. kind of been what I have what I had to do yeah. to make it fair. Yeah. But uh it doesn't really make a difference. It's it's always a fun sport, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think it's better to challenge me, you know, mm -hmm. and I think it's just where I am, you know? Fantastic. Well, we're all very excited for you. Again, you're heading off to Ecuador next month. I'm going to let you show us a little bit. All right, we've got uh, Coach Alex over here who drew the short straw, so he is going to be the training partner <laughs> for today. I'm going to check in here with us and say, Shane, because I know karate. Tina, I know you know a little bit about karate, for, but for those of us who don't really know all the differences of the martial arts, explain to us what we're seeing and, and a little bit more about judo. Sure. So what they're going to do right now is just a little bit of light free play. We mm -hmm. call it Rondori in Judo. And that's where they are trying to fight for position. Mm -hmm. It requires, you know, grip fighting skills, uh, positional play so that they can get into the position for the throwing. Oh. Uh, yeah, There's a lot of throwing things. involved There's here. There's a lot of throwing, a lot of throwing, a lot of mat work. So uh -huh. chokes and arm bars as well. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, that's what we're, that's what they're showing. This right must now. be very exciting for not only his family, but of course, for your studio here as well. Yeah, it's a big deal. I mean, yeah. it's 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 hard to earn one of those spots. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough challenge looking ahead to going right. to Ecuador. But yeah, he's 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 had a lot of hard work. I mean, for the last two years, he's been the number one ranked athlete mm -hmm. in his division. So, uh, you know, this is for him. He's already been on the national team once. Uh -huh. We went to uh, Pan Americans down in Guadalajara a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. He did really well. He made it to the finals first time out. Yeah. So we're hoping that he'll have a similar result when we go to mm -hmm. Ecuador. But, you know, we'll see. You were telling me how he was selected for this. Um, and you said you literally have seconds to decide whether or not you want to be part of it. So, yeah, so they had a qualifier event. So yeah. they didn't base it based on his number one ranking status. Uh, he actually had to go to a qualifier event. He had to win top seed. He had to beat everybody in his weight division to qualify yeah. for this, this spot on the World uh, Championship team. And, uh, yeah, literally they, they award the medal, <laughs> and within minutes they're like, are you going to accept the spot it? or not? Absolutely. And he's like, you know, it's a yes or no. So, Absolutely. And, yeah. Dad, you must be so thrilled. You also are involved in judo here as well. And you said this was kind of something about 10 years ago. He said, you know what, I'm going to give this a whirl. Yeah, he's uh he, I planned on getting him into judo for a long time, but he had to watch his sisters play softball. And then as they phased out of softball, I said, hey, how about you want to do some judo? He goes, what's that, Dad? <laughs> I said, well, you know, you get to throw. You learn to throw people and fight on the ground and choke and armbar. He goes, really? I'm in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And once he got out there and got a fight with other, other kids, and he just, he just fell in love, and that's yeah. been his sport since then. Well, you know, from not knowing what it is to I feel like he's, he's kind of mastered it. Well, we are so proud. Can't wait to cheer you on again. Headed off to Ecuador for the World Championships. Again, participating on the U.S. national team. Very exciting. Right here from Rockland Judo. We should also mention he is going to be a senior at Pleasant Grove oh, so, yeah. in Elk Grove. So very exciting. Congratulations, Elias. Oh. Well, poor, poor Coach Alex there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Coach Alex is like, oh boy.